If you are over the age of 40, you've probably noticed near objects are beginning to appear fuzzy and out of focus. You may be experiencing a condition called presbyopia, which happens to all of us at some time in our 40s or 50s. Clinical investigators Dr. Tom Tuma of InVision Laser Eye Centers and Dr. Eric Brooker, refractive consultant and founder of the Advanced Vision Institute, speak with us about an exciting new development in implant technology. This new corneal inlay implant could be the answer for millions of Americans who would like to gain independence from reading glasses. Corneal inlays are very thin, round-shaped discs that are inserted under the surface of the cornea. Uh, they're used for presbyopic patients to eliminate or substantially reduce their need for reading glasses and for their distance vision tasks. Uh, they're thinner than the thickness of a human hair, and they're about the size of a pupil, and they go about two-thirds of the corneal thickness. Uh, they're an amazing new technology that we're very excited about having. There are a variety of inlays uh, that have different mechanisms of action. Uh, in my opinion, I believe the camera inlay gives our patients the most natural optics and uh, the best ability to function at distance and at near. There have been over 20,000 corneal inlays implanted worldwide. Uh, between the three manufacturers, it's probably now approaching about 25,000. Corneal inlays are, are different than monovision in the fact that they don't compromise a patient's distance vision. And this is the innovation that all of us doctors have been waiting for because it corrects not only the distance vision and the intermediate vision, but now restores a patient's near vision. The camera inlay functions uh, under the same principle as the small aperture of a camera. Basically blocks all the unfocused light and allows only the focused light to enter the aperture of the inlay. And that gives us the increased depth of focus which allows us obviously to see well at distance and well at near. The camera inlay or any of the inlays are inserted under the surface of the cornea. If you think of the cornea as having 550 pages like a book, we insert the inlay at about page 200 to 250. And we use a femtosecond laser, much like we use for LASIK to make a flap, but we create a pocket to put those inlays in. The inlay procedure takes only five to 10 minutes. It's a quick procedure and it's absolutely painless. Around 41 years old is when I started needing the reading glasses, having a problem, you know, looking at the computer and reading books or reading anything, labels at the store. Um, just got tired of it and it kept getting worse and uh, always using the glasses on and off, on and off constantly. Good candidates for the inlay procedure are patients who want to get rid of their reading glasses and maintain their distance vision. So if you look young, you feel young, you don't want to give away your age and you want to reclaim your youth and just get away from the frustration of always reaching out for your reading glasses, you're a good candidate for the inlay. With the um, progressive changes that occurs over 40 or the lens changes in the eyes um, that causes the need for reading glass, and that's what we call presbyopia, um, eventually patients will need to wear reading glasses or um, nowadays we can do a lens exchange um, to replace the lens or we can do cataract surgery. Now with any procedures that we do for the cornea or the eye, we always want to consider the eye health first. Um, and that includes uh, the tear film, the cornea that's in front of the eye, the front part of the eye. The whole procedure was way um, easier than I ever anticipated it would be. In order to prepare for the procedure, patients need to use several eye drops to make sh ensure that they don't have any dryness. Um, they also need to be out of contact lenses for a minimum of two weeks prior to the procedure. Patients with um, Existing dry eyes definitely can have very uh, good outcomes with any surgical procedures as long as we diagnose the dryness um, and we treat it properly prior to any procedures and the patient would definitely have a good outcome. Most patients are able to return to their normal activities such as work within the first 24 hours, but the healing process can take a few months before patients can reach their maximum result. Patients tend to heal at different rates, and that's going to be the determining factor on how fast a patient recovers their maximum vision from the procedure. The initial uh, maybe four or five hours after the procedure, I mean, they ask you to go right home and, and sleep. But waking up, um, no pain. 
you know, I, I didn't really feel anything. Corneal inlays can be easily removed by your refractive surgeon. And that's the beauty of this uh, procedure, is that it's reversible. Um, if you've had prior eye surgery, such as LASIK or cataract surgery, you may still qualify to have a presbyopic corneal inlay, but a full assessment to qualify you for the procedure is required. Oh, I've already recommended several people um, to the office here and told them about the procedure.